Okay, so the links are working. Let me add Dave on. Call for zero. What's up, Dave? Hey, Ian. Hi, everybody in chat. Good to see y'all. You too, man. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh, I'm working out every day and uh, healthy as can be, just like I've been for the last three years. That's good. That's good. So what's going on? Like um, anything exciting? Uh, well, in the world, I, or I took the challenge and clicked the link because I'm I'm volunteering to come up here, and I have a, a new theory on Mandela effect causation. I don't have the answer, but it's something that we're all building on. It's almost like tense, taking a, a Mensa IQ test online where they give you a like a block and a circle and a line and one is black, one is white. And then the next, the next symbol they show you, one is twisted a little. They sell, and then they ask you, what's the next one look like? And you have to just piece all these things together and twist them around, try to figure things out. So uh, I could, I'm going to go over, if I can, I'm going to go over yeah. a theory I had about a year ago and what I think it may be now. And here, let me, let me go to Cam. Hi, everybody. Yeah, um, I've been Mandel affected for about four years, and I know a lot of people in the chat, either they have been or they're very interested in it, or at least they're open to it. And um, I am one who did my best to flush their narrative about a year ago. I just let it go. Politics, forget it. You're not helping anybody. TV, I've had enough lies. I mean just the whole thing i've just flushed it because it's fake it's just misdirection it's noise is what it is noise misdirection so anyways uh and i think i went over this first theory possibly like about a year ago on your channel but i'm not sure about causation and i'll just run through it but i think it's maybe different than this though yeah take I your time no rush yeah i initially looked at uh causation for Mandela effect as a potential death life death life you know we've all heard about we've all died in 2012 and we've heard numerous things about people who have been in severe wrecks and they were the one that survived when the car was crushed or uh, you know uh, attempt to check out by taking like multiple poisons and things and they wake up and they're like wow I don't have a stomach ache I survived somehow Maybe they didn't. And that was my theory last year. And at each time we come back, we're in a, what was a copy, like a carbon copy of the last reality. But just as it is on a copying machine, it's not quite all there. Or it's like smudged in places. And I kind of thought, well, maybe it's something like that. And it was just a theory. And that was based on nine dimensions. And the way I, got, I came up with nine dimensions, this was the last year theory, is that we've all heard like cats have nine, nine lives. And if you maybe not accept history as accurate, and a lot of it isn't, maybe most of it isn't, but remember how, especially, um, I don't know, it seems like in, the, in maybe not recently, but in the, in the 80s and 90s, you heard all this stuff about ancient Egypt and then like the Grand Canyon and finding artifacts in there. And then you look at the pyramids and the statues of like cats and how they revered cats and things like that. And so I thought maybe there's some sort of cat nine live connection to this whole deal where you cycle through seven of your lives. And like I said, it could be just dropping from a, aneurysm or, or a car wreck or something. But when you get to the eighth, you go into shadow person because being a paranormal investigator, I've seen shadow people. And I'm like, who are these people? Where do they come from? How come there's just a few of them? And most people are either on our side or on the far side. They're, they're like fully spirit. So I thought maybe that's level eight. And then I, I considered what's level nine and level nine is probably orb. Like you see these softball size orbs, they're like tennis ball, softball ball size orbs that come up on, you know, investigation, paranormal videos. And they, they seem to be, 
you know, reacting to conversation, things like that, or they may shoot into a person, into their stomach, into their head. And so that's just, that was my theory back then. But recently, I've kind of changed that a little bit that uh, I think it may be seven dimensional. And I think the orb is still involved. And I think also our observable plane of existence here, which appears to be built on a level surface by a creator. And it's, it's uh, obviously not bending. So it's more level than it is bending. We could just leave it at that if we want. But, you know, I think it's level and extends out. Now, in watching videos regarding the level plane reality, you know, people ask the question, if you look at the sky, like Polaris or whatever, and say you're in Argentina or Canada or Spain or Nigeria, it just seems like different. And like, why doesn't it look the same? And it's because of our, our like reality bubble, like our sphere of vision that like, like if I'm in Nigeria and I look west, it's a heck of a lot different than somebody in Canada looking west. It's just like we all have that sphere that extends up. And if we actually dig down, so it's a, it's a total sphere. And within that sphere, I see seven dimensions. There's the center where you are, forward, back, left, right, and up and down. So there's seven dimensions in that sphere. And the way I see it is when we're born and we're like in, say, a small orb reality bubble state, say it's four inches, six inches, whatever it is, and as we are exposed to observation and different things, like the different elements of things like that, it expands out. Like, for instance, when I was really overcome by Mandela effect, I purposely envisioned a reality bubble that extended outside of my living space, almost like a, a bubble or a dome that was outside that I'm in control of this. Don't mess with me in here. I know when I go out there, I'm going to see all kinds of funky stuff, but this is my reality. So I think there's that orb reality element to it. And now to get to the causation, say that you're proceeding through life and who knows how big the reality bubble is for you, maybe wherever, whatever size it is. And you're living in a normal life where you look left, right, up, down, everything appears stable, solid, unchanging. But, and this is where the, where the, I don't know what's going on thing comes in. There's an outside influence that bumps you either up, down, back, left, and your whole uh, vision of the world changes just like, like I said, Argentina, Canada, and you're looking around and you're going, okay, I'm no, I know I'm still me and I know I'm looking at the same thing, but it doesn't look the same. You know, things have changed like that. And I'm going to give you uh, an example, like say that you were the person affected, like say Ian 25 years ago was uh, working in the restaurant business and you had an opportunity to, you know, maybe advance and either a boss changed your mind or a different job came up and you went into like, say, tire rotation and oil changes or something like that. You just like, you, you branched off. But, but the Ian in the center of the bubble continued on in the restaurant, catering and so mm -hmm. forth. Say 25 years down the road, you're at home and your buddy Bob pulls into the driveway and he's coming up to your front door and he sees like engine blocks in the driveway and stuff like that. And he goes, wow, this is kind of weird. He goes up to your door and he knocks on it and you come to the door and you say, hey, Bob. And he goes, hey, um, you know, I'm thinking about catering like 200 people. Can you give me some tips? And you're going, catering? I do oil changes, dude. I, I mean, I, I, I just did a brake job this morning. And he's like, what? Who are you? You're not Ian. You go, no, I'm, I'm Ian. See, you're, you, are, you are still Ian with the same soul, but some energy knocked you out of the center of that bubble. I don't know what it is. And that, that is my explanation at this point. I think it may be closer to where we want to go. I'm not positive, but we're all working on it. So that's what I wanted to present. Interesting. 